I'm here on Crown Butte outside of Cook City on a southeast facing slope at around 9,000 feet. And yesterday a snowmobiler triggered this slope here. Um, he was riding up, um, he's cutting across it when it broke. Luckily he was not uh, buried and was uninjured, so we like hearing about that. Um, what happened was, is in this area we have a lot of wind loading. And Cook City got about three feet of snow um, a few weeks ago, about two weeks ago, and it formed these hard slabs. And these hard slabs are sitting on a bunch of sugary snow. Now, this is the same stuff that we're seeing all over southwest Montana. We have it in Lionhead, we have it in Taylor Fork, and we also have it here. And so this is going to be around, it's going to be sticking around for a long time, and this is our major stability concern. Also, the snowmobiler that triggered this, there was about, um, he told us there was about 10 to 20 tracks on the slope um, before he hit it. And uh, that's a good reminder that um, tracks on a slope does not mean that the slope is stable. So. Twenty-two. 